Oh yeah, me again. Here we go then. So uh, I'm gonna fit this nice bit of bling to my Norco. As you can see, it's got the seal inside and obviously it's for re-greasing. And just here it's got its own little grease nipple. So once it's on, it never needs to be taken off again. And this is the one it's replacing this one here so I'll uh, do a nice little time lapse for you I'll stop it in between and talk about the grease so you can see what I'm actually doing in a bit of a slow-mo anyway let's crack on with her So there, as you can see, I don't look like there's a lot of grease in there, but yeah, so that's why I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone, put a nice plate on it and re-grease it. Remember, when you're putting all this back together, make sure you put a dab of grease on here, otherwise these can be a right bugger to get off next time you want to come in and do anything. I mean, hopefully now, taking the cover off, I'm going to replace it with the Lecky, Lecky um, cover, which has got a little grease number which goes around here somewhere. So uh, I should never need to take this cover off again, hopefully. You know, it'll be job done. But, uh, you have an email. There it is again, that email. But yeah, so... Um, there you have it really that's that's how easy it is to take it off as you can see it's got a little bit of grease left in here but it's uh, quite dry in places but yeah and make sure you use molly grease the one i use is this one here i've used it for all my bow fangs and i've been messing with bow fangs if you search back on my youtube channel for quite a while now must be like something like it's from 2017 on I think I've been messing with both fangs so a few years now but yeah so uh, when the covers all fitted and all that look this is sort of what it looked like it looked very much like that but you'll see as I rebuild it you'll see how it all goes but yeah so everything lines up nice should look smart I decided to change that um, chain ring out for this other one which I've got here so I thought just to put some different colors on it all really I think it should look quite groovy and different when it when it's all back together but yeah we'll see how it goes should look quite smart I reckon yeah right I'll molly grease it up and I'll uh, do it all in um, that uh, time warp for you so you can see how it all goes. So that'll do for a while yeah so uh oh and if you're wondering how often to do your grease they say about a thousand miles but i just do it whenever pretty much 
I mean, I can't even remember the last time I've done this bike. In fact, I might not have even done this bike. But yeah, so you just keep it up together, you know, and uh, it'll be good for you. But yeah, so when I put these bolts back in now, basically these go in at 6nm. So I'll have to go and get my torque wrench and sort all that out now. Okay. So there you go, there it is fitted, fitted no problem and all that, but um, when I went to put this ring on, as you can see this is a VXM and this is a Decker's, it's got to be about a millimetre thicker or something stupid, and because I'm writing really, like, you know, quite uptight against there for my chain line, and my chain line is perfect with that one on, so basically I got some more VMXs up on the thing but I don't like the colours they're all, all the wrong colour for this particular bike so I'll order myself another one in uh, this uh, purple colour and uh, fit it on at some other point but yeah so she's all working I just gotta put the put the pedal on that back on and remember just put a bit of grease on here because otherwise you'll suffer next time you go to get it off but other than that she's all done so yeah so quite happy with it remember like and subscribe or don't whatever and uh, i'll catch you again in the next one stay safe out there and get out and ride